Good day, students. Today, we are going to talk about Jesus tells us about His Father. So, at the end of our discussion, we will be able to uh, explain that Jesus teaches us about His Father's love to show gratefulness to God for providing us our needs and also to thank God for giving us what we need. So before we begin, let me tell you a story about the Good Rancher. I hope you are well seated there with your notebooks and let us now begin. There was a man named Fernando, a very good rancher. He had good strong horses and cattle. The house we lived in was just right for him. He enjoyed his life being a cowboy. Every day is just perfect. He rides out with the cowboys and rounds up for the cattle and brings them back for food and water. The ranch always provides plenty of food and water for the cattle. He does the work by himself every day. He couldn't ask for anything more. One day, his parents came to visit his ranch. They brought him a present. A big cookbook that had 2,000 recipes in it. Well, he didn't have much time for cooking, so what should he do? Now class, what do you think will Fernando do? That's right, he will use that cookbook as his help and guide while he is doing his job as doing the food making the food for his cattle. Now, telling us that God will provide us our needs as long as we put our faith and trust in Him. God will give us all that is necessary to give. Life itself is the most important among the many things we use for one. So, Jesus tells us about His Father. So God our Father is our Creator. He provides us all important things that we need. You know, He loves us very much. He wants to give us many blessings to show His love. He gives us what is necessary for our lives. And Jesus told us to not be concerned too much for our needs, what to eat, or for our body, and what we are to wear. You know, life is more important than food and the body, and the more than important than clothing too. So, Jesus tells us that we learn from Him also that God is Father created everything and shared His power to us. He gave power to us because he knows that we are responsible enough to take care of His creation. So we tell God that we love and thank Him for the things that He has given us. And He will always take care of us. He will take care of us. And He knows what we need as His children. So God loves us so much that He gave His own Son, Jesus, to be born on earth. And also, He gave Himself, Jesus gave Himself to His Father for our sakes and died on the cross for us. So Jesus shown us, had shown us leave. Jesus led us to the Heavenly Father. So with that class, kindly get your notebook and ball pen and share your thoughts about the following questions. Write your answers on your notebook. Don't worry class, you may pause you may pause the video so that you may copy the questions and answer it on your notebook again. You may pause this video and then copy answer on your notebook. Number one, why is God our Father? Number two, to whom did God send us? 
Number three, what does Jesus teach us about his Father? And number four, these dumb things that you think are necessary in our life. So again, class, you may pause this video so that you may copy the questions and answer the questions after copying it. So with that class, that ends our discussion for today. You may continue copying and answering the activity as you end this video. Till next time class.